Well, hey all, and welcome back. And I've got something I'm very excited to show you all. It just came in the mail. It is the Beast Box MoMA BB-04 Final Edition. I've actually been wanting the MoMA for quite a while, but I kind of missed the boat on it. And unfortunately, I can't get the first one because I'm not willing to spend well over $100 for this figure. However, thinks it's exclusive, they put it on their AliExpress store, which I'll link in the description below, and we can get this final version of this very sought after figure. And when you remove the outer cover, you can see there's a more typical style of box underneath. So it gives you an idea of what the packaging looks like. So let's go get this guy out of the box and see if he's worthy of our collection. So what we have here is a unique box to put this in. Typically they're clear, but this one is sort of a semi-opaque white with some red accents on it. I really like the design. I'm gonna go with the other ones as well, but it'll stand out on its own, especially being exclusive. So we can just pop this open, slide this guy out. And as you can see, it makes a very nice box form. And that's what these are known for, being animal, robotic animals that turn into boxes. So let's go ahead and get him transformed. I'll say that the transformation itself is also fairly intuitive. You don't necessarily need the instructions to go from box mode to beast mode. And that's saying a lot for the design. And here we have it transformed. And there's a really nice aesthetic to this particular beast box. I've always been a fan of it. I, I think the opaque color scheme really helps pop out the design. But I do think this clear version still looks very good because there's still enough opacity in the parts where you can catch all these nice angles and panels and forms. I think they've done such a great job designing this figure that it just holds up in any different color scheme. So we can go over the details a little bit. We have some opaque black plastic. We have some clear plastic and some translucent red plastic. There's a nice combination that breaks up the form, gives it some nice details. On the eyes, we have some painted silver accents, as you can see, and then we have some white tampo and some black tempo as well. On the back, we have the Terminus logo that is also on the box and just some nice little details here and there. The molding is still pretty sharp, even though the plastic is translucent, but it shows up pretty well. As far as articulation goes, we have some hip movement on both legs. We have movement at the knees, and we have a ball joint at the feet. We also have a little bit of movement in the head due to transformation. The tusks can move out, and we have some posability on the trunk. One thing I'll note about mine, everything's fairly tight and feels very solid. We also have a little articulation in the ears. But I will note that on this right foot here, it is kind of loose. Um, I do think... I might take something and try to tighten that ball up a little bit, probably some shoe polish or something. But other than that, it seems pretty stable. I'm pretty happy with it as far as design and aesthetic goes. Now for comparison, while this does look like a beefy figure, you have to remember they share the same mass because all the boxes are the same size. So this is the first release, which is still one of my favorites. Just a great looking figure. Um, I recommend this one. They, I think they still make it in different forms. Definitely always recommend this one. Now, they do share the same mass, and this is a bit bulkier. However, you can see there's a big height difference. But the way they tend to photograph this figure makes it look like a mammoth, makes it look gigantic. And just so you guys know, it has got some good size to it, but it is not as massive as it might appear in relation to the other figures they make. That said, I do love it. I do think it's a great purchase. And since it's the last version, the final edition, you might want to jump on it while you still can. Um, I got mine from their AliExpress page. That was where they exclusively carried it. I'll put a link in the description below. But so anyway, let us know in the comments below if this Beast Box is worthy of your collection. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.